And for the other side of the aisle, we will bring in Republican Congressman from Texas and member of the House Financial Services Committee, Lance Gooden. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here on a Saturday afternoon. We really appreciate Good it. Uh, kicking things off, you are in a border state and we want to get to the border and also spending and the lockdown that we're seeing uh, there in Washington. But to start, something that's really been grabbing the headlines, this unusual uh, subject of comparing parents that are going to these school board meetings to domestic terrorists. Now the National School Board Association writing another letter, this one apologizing for the first that went out. Your thoughts on this new letter, the, the apology they're making, specifically when it comes to the language included in the former letter. Well, I think it's nice when people realize they've screwed up and they apologize. If only that were more common in this nation. Uh, but these parents are absolutely not domestic terrorists. These are parents that are angry at the push that's starting in Washington uh, for curriculum uh, to cover various things that they don't want their children being indoctrinated with by the government. And I think that the school board association overstepped. I'm sure some uh, liberal expert said, let's put out a statement. And they got some backlash and realized that they messed up. And so I'm happy that they've retracted and apologized. And I hope that parents across the nation will continue uh, to make sure that those that represent them at the local level at their school, school boards are absolutely involved and in saying we don't want this for our children. And I'm talking about things like critical race theory and other, other subjects that the federal government is telling our local school districts to teach to our children. Yeah, when it comes to election concerns, education tends to be on there, particularly among uh, parents with young children there in the school system. I want to talk a little bit about what we just heard. Your colleague from the other side of the uh, aisle, the Democrat from Pennsylvania, Matt Cartwright, talking about infrastructure. It does seem that when it comes to the efforts in Washington right now to get the spending deal done, that the log jams on the Democratic side, the moderates, the progressives. So what is, where does that leave Republicans as we're going forward? Well, the Republicans are in the same place that we've been in since Joe Biden and the Democrats took over all branches of government in January, and that is shut out of the process. I agree uh, with the congressman's statement. My congressman colleague across the aisle, he said, we should put politics aside and focus on what's best for the nation. Everyone agrees with that. And what they should do is invite Republicans at, to the table. Uh, this bill, this reconciliation bill, has tax giveaways for the rich. It has uh, abortion on demand paid for by tax dollars. There are so many things that have nothing to to do with infrastructure in this bill. My congressman, uh, uh, my, my across the aisle uh, congressman colleague said that he's been waiting nine years to see an infrastructure bill. Well, an infrastructure bill passed the Senate and the Democrats are holding it up in the House because they want this $3 trillion deal that's much more than infrastructure. If we could secure our border and do things that the American people really care about, yeah. I think they'd get a lot of buy-in from Republicans. I think you brought us to our segue there on the border. There's a caravan headed, uh, well, you know, your way, headed up from Mexico right, right now, keeping an eye on that. You've been advocating for your state, trying to get, you know, more federal dollars, more federal help. You know, what are you thinking now when you see another caravan coming? Uh, it's disgusting. Uh, it is absolutely disgusting, the policies of this administration, the way they are flying illegal immigrants into the interior portions of our nation in the middle of the night, the way they are lying to the American people about what's taking place. Tom Cotton said yesterday, if the Biden administration was proud of their policy and proud of what they're doing, they would be coordinating with local news media saying, look at this plane full of illegal immigrants that is coming to our town. But they're not doing that because they know the American people disapprove of the way this border crisis has been handled. There is another caravan on the way, and in a month you'll be telling me about a new one because as long as this government tells the world that our borders are open and if you will get here, we will let you stay and, in fact, we'll fly you to the destination of your choice wherever in the United States, why would people stop coming to America? It's, right. it's a real disaster and the American people are sick of it. And we've got to do something. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank we you. appreciate hearing your insights. Congressman Lance. Good. Thank you.